Alright guys, welcome back to another review of the Action Figure Geek and Happy Thanksgiving and God bless you all. Um, I'm going, uh, yesterday I reviewed the Flash vs. Um, Gorilla Grodd Batman, or Batman vs, well, Batman Flash vs. Gorilla Grodd set, Gotham City Train Station set. So make sure to check that video out and all the other videos I did on the channel. Um, and also, um, well, today I'm going to review an action figure that came out a little while ago. It's the DC Icons Lex Luthor action figure, and he's pretty cool looking. I think I like how he looks better than the uh, multiverse Lex Luthor action figure. If any of you guys know what I'm talking about, probably you do. You no know DC stuff. Um, but this is exciting. He's from the comic book called... Forever Evil. I think that's the one where Lex Luthor and the Secret Society of Supervillains teamed up to defeat the crime syndicate or something like that. But for accessories, it looks like he just comes with interchangeable hands, which a lot of the DC Icons figures did come with most of the time. And I have some DC Icons figures. He, one of his hands looks like a um, hand with like he's getting the walls or something, tearing the wall. On the back, the other figures you could get were Black Adam, Blue Beetle, and The Flash, which I think I, I have The Flash, maybe. Anyway, let's just open this figure up, and he has a nice Lex Luthor coloring, so it's pretty cool. So let's open it. Oh, got some tape. Okay. Okay, so, okay, and it also comes with this little pamphlet which shows some of the other figures you could get and how you can change their hands. It's not really that important. I'm sure anybody could guess that, so I guess they don't think their customers are really smart. <laughs> I don't know. I shouldn't say that, but there's Lexi in the packaging, and he looks awesome. Let's take out. This is his hand where he's tearing the wall off, like, tsh. see? So that's pretty cool. Looks like a wall piece. And this accessory he comes with. It's like this little armor piece you can put on him that has like a little blade coming out. So that's super cool. We're looking forward to using that. It also comes with this key, which I forgot why he used it in the uh, comic book. He also comes with these two open hands or whatever, or like palms, open palms. Yeah, so he comes with two of them, and they're all in a green. All his hands are in a green finish, so they can move. Well, that's their hands. So let's see what I'm like that. Okay. Now let's get the figure of Lex Luthor out. Yeah, twisty ties because he um, has twisty ties, so. Now, the DC icon figures that I have are the Joker. I definitely have that one. So that's, and that's also one of, one of my favorite Joker figures because it just looks super classic. So, yeah. Okay, he's got a version. <laughs> Um, okay, let's look at him. See a closer look at Lex Luthor. And wow, this figure is super cool. I really like his face sculpt. Let me show you his face sculpt. It's pretty menacing looking. With his bald head. And his green kryptonite armor on. With the Lex Luthor symbol on. And the face sculpt isn't terrible actually. But, uh, yeah, I said it was pretty good. And, yeah, he has this nice purple and green. And he, he has a rubber piece here, so I don't think that will limit his articulation. And, uh, he has some armor plates, which are rubbery, which don't really limit there either. And then he has this, you might think, well, this won't restrict the head movement that much. Actually, wait, hold up. These things up here, these, like, like a little armor things on his neck will restrict his movement on the neck because they're just a hard plastic they're not rubbery which would be cool if it was rubbery but 
And right now, he, in the box, he has his two fist hands. So you can get him into some cool poses. And and one thing I, a lot of people didn't like about the DC Icon slide was they thought the figures were too small. And I kind of agree with that. But, um, yeah, that's Lex Luthor. He's a pretty cool. He's, he's a really cool looking figure. He feels nice. And the paint is great on him. I, I think that the paint is on him is just awesome. And for articulation, his head, as you can see, can move. Side to side, again, it's restricted by the hard plastic of the shoulder collar thing. And he can't look up, can look down that much, which is barely much at all. And his articulation can go out fine. He can also spin 90 degrees. And uh, he has a swivel here. And he has double jointed articulation on the elbow. And he has a hinge in the hand, the fist, which can not hinge out or maybe it can like that so i can be like okay and um also he has an um crunch here which kind of feels a little it doesn't really do much actually but and he can do the splits that far his legs can go forward that much his legs can go back this much but it's actually kind of restricted by his booty and he also has double jointed um knees and for feet, articulation, wait, really? Oh, he has not wow. Okay, I thought he had no foot articulation. But they can actually hinge out like that, and they can't swivel at all, or pivot or anything. So that's, the articulation on him feels limited. Feels like he's going to break or something, kind of a little bit. And I don't really know how much, how tall this guy stands, but of course, let me um, tell you that the scale for the 7-inch McFarlane figures are 7 inches. The scale for the DC icons were 6 inches, so it won't really fit with a multiverse McFarlane action figure. So, for example, even though this is not, I don't think has to do in the New 52 era, this Superman. See how much... Smaller Lexus compared to the a Superboy Prime figure, and I don't have any other Supermans really to compare to this Lex Luthor that are his size. But uh, you can remove his hands, and it's easy. You just wiggle them out. His other hand can also come out if you want to change it. And I think this hand looks pretty cool right here. This like kind of like. I don't know how to explain it hand, but <laughs> this hand is super cool. Let me just flex it out. Okay, but I really like this hand. Maybe it can be like a shield hand. Well, he's taking something off the wall, like, 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 uh, like he's moving something. Too bad his neck are too... She doesn't mean like really look like he's like, or maybe a little bit helps a little bit, but it looks like he's taking something off a wall or something. So that's pretty cool. And he also comes with this key hand, which goes, and that's his key hand in his hand. <laughs> and uh, I'm just gonna put his open palms in his hands as well. Which, I was saying, many, uh, I'm also going to put a fist hand on him. And you might remember his accessory being this, like, armor piece with a blade coming out. So that can attach like this. This is super cool because he has this little, like, blade that can come out of his suit. I can get him into some dynamic poses with this blade, like that's supposed to be a noise, like a bleed noise or something. All right, well that's the Lex Luthor DC Icons action figure review. Uh, thank you for watching this video, and uh, yeah, happy Thanksgiving and God bless. Adios, you guys. Bye.